Assalamu alaikum, your name please? Neil deGrasse Tyson. And your occupation? I'm an astro motherfucking physicist. <laughs> okay, so you're a rocket scientist. That don't impress me much. You have chosen to answer questions on the subject of the cosmos and shit. You have two minutes, inshallah, and your time starts. Now, which is more further away from the Earth? Is it the stars or the moon? Well, the moon, that would be about 130,000 miles away, and the nearest star, you're looking at 4.3 light years from Earth. That would be a distance of longer than my dick. Exactly, they're both roughly the same distance from the Earth. Correct. What is the shape of the planet Earth? A oblate sphere. Uh, less precisely? Less precisely, uh, a ball? Ah, uh, it's actually the shape of a bed or a carpet, but you're close enough. Correct. How many planets are there in the whole universe? Ain't nobody no shit like that. We discovered like 2,000 of them motherfuckers in this galaxy alone, but there got to be billions of planets out there. Mm, the answer I've got on my card is actually seven, but... You're close enough, correct. Next question. What is every living thing on Earth made of? Nucleotides linked together to form chains of DNA. Mm, less precisely... Microscopic motherfucking cells. Yeah, but like, less precisely... Uh, molecules of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen... Yeah, and hydrogen and oxygen can come together to make... Water? Correct! Next question. What was the universe composed of in its earliest known physical state? Ah, uh, protons and neutrons that was formed out of a bunch of quark gluon plasma. Less precisely... Ah, uh, pure massless energy in the form of a bunch of photons that was buzzing around and interacting with protons and electrons. Yeah, but like, less precisely... Uh, a bunch of ionized hydrogen and helium atoms. Ah, uh, the answer is actually smoke, but you're close enough. Correct. How do birds fly? What? You know, like, when a bird is flying, how come it doesn't, like, fall out of the sky or whatever? It's due to the aerodynamic shape of the bird's wing coupled with the effects of air pressure. Less precisely... That bird flaps its motherfucking wings. Less precisely... I have no idea what you Correct. is talking... Correct! Nobody knows how birds fly. It is achieved only by the will of... Oh! In the development of the human embryo, which is formed first, the flesh or the bones? There's some fucked up slippery ass question. They both form simultaneous. Ah, uh, I'm actually looking for bones, but I've just heard, yes, I can accept that answer. Correct. And your next question. How is it even possible that a simple man living 1400 years ago could have known so many facts about aerodynamics and biology and space or whatever, unless it was revealed to him by the all-knowing creature? Creator of the universe. Well, maybe he read some kind of book about the discoveries of Galen and Aristotle. Yeah, but like, what if he couldn't read? How could an illiterate man living 1400 years ago have acquired so much knowledge that is accepted by today's scientific community? Maybe he met some motherfuckers that told him about ancient Greek science and shit and he just made the rest of it up. Yeah, but what if he like lived in the middle of a desert 1400 years ago and he never met one single person what knew anything about Greece or whatever? I'm pretty sure he would have met at least one. No, wait, right? What if he was totally literate, he lived in the middle of a desert, he never spoke to anybody, and he was like a total fucking idiot? Epistemologically speaking, how would such a simple man who lived 1400 years ago have known so much about the intricate mechanisms of the universe?
I guess given those particular very restrictive conditions, that would be pretty motherfucking miraculous. Correct! And at the end of that round, you have scored eight points. Oh, oh my god, are you like fickle or something?